Hey guys, Shane Stars with DroidMotorX.com. Today it is my privilege to announce to you that we finally have KitKat 4.4.2 official over the air uh, on our Verizon Galaxy Note 3. This is a leaked build, but once again the developers come through where Verizon can't offer us KitKat in a timely manner. The developers have released a leaked version of KitKat 4.4.2. Now, if you want this to be rooted, then this is the method for you. This method is brought to you by Beanstown106. I will include a link to his thread in the description. There you'll find a full written guide plus all the files you need, so be sure that you do click on that link in the description. That also being said, uh, the prerequisites for this are that you are on 4.3, you're already rooted, and you're running SafeStrap. If you meet all those requirements, then you will need to follow through with this guide. Once you've downloaded the stock NC2 ROM to your SD card in the download folder. We'll go ahead and reboot into SafeStrap. Okay, so once SafeStrap is up and running, we're gonna go into boot options. Make sure that you do check the stock ROM option and you'll see it in red here, ROM slot stock. So once you're in the stock ROM slot, we'll go ahead and wipe data. So we're factory resetting our device. Uh, we're going from 4.3 to 4.4.2. Your backups will not be usable, so you won't be able to restore any ROMs from uh, 4.3. They're not going to work on KitKat. That being said, you are wiping everything. So you're not going to have any applications. You'll have to reset everything up, but you will be on 4.4.2, so that is a major plus. Go ahead and go back, and we'll install... Uh, if you downloaded it directly to your phone, it will be in the SD card under your download folder. And you're looking for the HTL Verizon root ODEX NC2.zip. We'll go ahead and select that and swipe to wipe. Give that about two to five minutes. And once it's finished, we'll go into download mode. Okay, so once you see the successful screen, we're not going to select reboot system. and Instead, we're going to go to the back button. And we're going to go to reboot and download. This is going to take us to the download mode. From there, we'll be able to flash the firmware radio and boot package from Beanstown. Uh, we'll do that in Odin. So from here, we're actually going to go to the computer and I'll show you guys the method on how to install that firmware package. Okay, from there, you'll open up Odin and you'll choose PDA. And you will scroll down and find the uh, firmware package for KitKat, the N900V. KK firmware package. You'll need to unzip this file for it to be usable. Uh, you'll go ahead and select that. Uh, make sure that you do have something in the comm slot here. It just means that the Odin is able to see your phone. And then also make sure that auto reboot is checked. Once all these things are uh, similar or like once you have everything like you see here on the screen, we'll go ahead and click the start button and give this just a few minutes to do its thing. So you can see here on the phone that it does give you a little bit of a progress bar. So you can kind of watch it on your phone and then also watch the progress bar on the screen. When it's completed, it will auto reboot your phone. Hey guys, so once you have rebooted the phone or once Odin has rebooted the phone, you will now be on KitKat 4.4.2. In fact, let's go ahead and jump into settings and verify that we're on 4.4.2. So we'll go into about phone. And you can see the software version is now 4.4.2. If we go into the baseband version, it is the new NC2. Uh, so this is stock KitKat 4.4.2 on the Verizon Galaxy Note 3. Thanks to Beanstown 106 and all the other developers that worked on getting this device, the leaked uh, build of KitKat as far as, uh, as well as root on this device. So we'll go ahead and just verify that we do have root access. We'll go ahead and download uh, the root checker. Okay, so we will open up the root checker. Agree. Okay, we'll verify root. And this should ask for root permissions, which it does. We'll go ahead and grant it now. So now we're on KitKat 4.4.2 on the Verizon Galaxy Note 3 with root. Big shout outs once again to Beanstown 106 hash code and all the other developers, including Sex Tape and the rest of the guys that were um, able to give us this leaked KitKat build on the Verizon Galaxy Note 3. Now, also, 
A uh, little side note, the developers have said that this is the cream of the crop. This is the ROM you want to be on. You do not ever want to take an over-the-air update because this has some awesome things like uh, the ability to flash back to previous builds of Android uh, for purposes of disaster recovery. So if you needed to unbrick your device or whatever, or if you just wanted to go back to 4.3, you would be able to with this build only. Uh, whenever the official over-the-air update comes out, chances are they will remove the ability and the options to do that. Uh, so for now, you will definitely want to make sure that you do stay on this build. Now, Hashcode has already dropped the beta version of SafeStrap, so you're already able to flash SafeStrap and use SafeStrap on this device. So there's really no reason to accept the over-the-air update. So uh, big shout-outs once again to those developers. You can find more of me at droidmonarchs.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the near future. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. Uh, oh, also, make sure that you do share the video. It helps this channel to grow, and it helps me more than you know. Once again, thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.